When Gemma arrived at our Rotary Club as the guest speaker, I remember it well. She, we were quite astounded when she said, I'm going to build a school. And we said, where? She said, in Tanzania. She put a picture up on the screen of a paddock with Mount Maru in the background and said, that's where I'm going to build a school. So there were a few skeptics there said, well, when are you going to start? And she said, I don't really know. Uh, how much is it going to cost? I don't really know. Uh, well, how's it going to happen? She said, well, we've got to do some fundraising so it can happen. And it was great that our club got behind the fundraising in a small way to start off with. When I first heard about it from Gemma, I was the president in the year 2000. And so as the president then, uh, we decided that this was a project we would get behind, which is a combined effort, and that's the way Rotary Clubs work. We were very enthusiastic, got behind it. We sold paper bricks, and Armadale can be very, very cold in winter, and standing in the middle of the shopping mall selling bricks for $2 each uh, for a school in Tanzania wasn't an easy task. However, we did it, and we raised quite a lot of money. But everybody got behind, and that was the great thing about this, that everybody shared Gemma's vision. When I sit outside this building, it's very emotional because this was the start. And when we got the reports back that they started to teach the first children, I thought, wow, it's all happening. Uh, and it makes me feel very proud. Not that I want to take credit. It's the credit has to go to all the people, the people in the club, the people who volunteered the people who came here, the local workers who joined in, it was quite a big team, and uh, a lot of volunteers. So uh, I feel very humble because whilst I might have been in that position at the time, it's everybody else that really deserves all the credit. The school expands very fast, and now it's very huge, so it's very different from where we started. I'm hoping to be a centre of uh, memory in Tanzania because I think it will produce a lot of um, the students who are going to finish here. They are going to be someone else like uh, doctors and so I think it will be a memorable to Tanzania. There's so many human beings within Rotary with different skill sets. I feel very humbled and excited and proud to host people who helped me at the beginning. So, especially people like David. David helped me to print off my very, very first flyers for my first fundraiser. He allowed me to speak at his Rotary Club. He helped to, you know, to get his fellow Rotarians behind the project. And so I'm super proud that um, you know, to now show him the school that he's helped to get off the ground because in sincerity, wouldn't be here, David, without your club. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> and I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Sorry, Dave. Yeah.